of the body. Go through that process of holding the legs in. Um, or if you have already landed comfortably, you can stay as you are. We do want to be mindful with how we move, how we take care of our body. So just settle into an easy enough pose in the legs so that nothing is too uncomfortable. Let your hands rest down on your thighs. Gently lengthen your spine. Here, letting the eyes relax and close. This is about sensing the body, becoming aware of that central channel, following the spine. As you breathe, just be aware. Long and relaxed spine. Ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. And feel a softness coming to your face. As you relax your eyes, let your body relax. And just sensing the breath. And without the distraction of vision, we can become very aware of the sound of the breath, its texture, its temperature. Gently drawing even waves of breath through the body. And just letting those breaths stretch out a little bit as you relax. Lingering bit in the inhale and exhale. So our awareness allows us to notice the sensation and the energy of our breath and our bodies. Mm. Mm. Keep your eyes soft, let them open slightly. And take your right ear to your right shoulder or towards it. If you'd like to give a little assist with your arm, just lightly rest your hand. The neck resists this a little bit. And then let the weight of the hand release and bring your head back up. Check in with the other side, your towards the shoulder. So you might open your eyes as we begin our movement practice. Um, let them rest again when it feels nice for you. So we'll start creating outward gaze with the tip of the nose gaze. So you probably can't really see it, but you can in the periphery of your vision. Sorry, I forgot to add the hand, if you would like, a little longer. Gazing off the tip of your nose. Carefully release your head, gather your hands, lift your elbows, rest at your heart center. Take your chin down towards your chest, forehead towards fingertips. Shoulders down off the ears. Feel the heart center as you breathe. Having a moment for your own quiet contemplation. Inhalation, nose gaze. Oh. Soft, receptive eyes, feel the vibration of the sound. And exhale, release your arms. Make sure your legs are comfortable. Tone, tone in your low belly towards your spine a little bit. And then sit tall, first step of twisting. And second step, coming towards the back. So carefully come around, let your head turn and gaze where your eyes go. Let your eyes just softly fall towards the steadiness in the gaze. Your awareness also is taking care of your body in each pose. 
Work where it feels positive. And enjoy another deep round of breath here. Finding that expression of the shape for now. Use your exhale to unwind. Inhale to sit tall. And exhale, coming into the twist on the other side, taking a little time to come in, making little refinements, find a comfortable looking back and soften forehead, soften the eyes. We're trying to detach from what we actually see and just see shape and color, try to take the names away. See light. Breathe deeply once more. And relax on your exhale back to center. Coming up to standing, we'll use our eyes so that we can move around safely. There's a little inward rotation. This is one of the limbs of yoga that um, focuses on bringing the senses inward. Come to your feet with that meditative state of mind. Let your hands rest together as you find your center on your feet, balancing over your feet and legs, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over heels. And exhale, feel your low ribs come down as you breathe out. Try to keep them grounding as you reach up your arms. Shift your gaze a little bit upward and bring your shoulders down. Upward hand pose. So engage core strength, low belly, front ribs down, shoulders down. For two more breaths, give it energy. Let it feel good for you. And then exhale, release your arms down. Learning to stand, keep that uh, awareness in the body of standing with the grounded ribs. And taking your right foot to the floor, cross your left leg over top. And if you don't want to do the crossover, that's fine. You can do a side bend for eight breaths. So you're going to come right over to the side, not leaning back, not leaning forward, but right over to the side. Gently hold your opposite wrist. Shoulders down, we create like a, just a round shape with the arms. And just be comfortable and relaxed in this, not striving. Holding steady, notice the gaze. Where does it, where has it landed? Try to free the brain from the distractions of looking around. Of course, um, if you have to look around, you do. Breathe out. Come up slowly to center and change to the second side. Start with your foundation. Ground your front ribs. Arms up, shoulders down. And then exhale over to the left side. Circular arms, pretty soft. Right over to the side. So we are challenging our balance here and having a steady gaze that goes all the way to a point on the floor out in front of you. Just a natural four to six feet kind of distance. Softly lock your eyes there. Two more breaths. So the Gazing steadiness helps create a quality. Release your gaze back towards your nose. So bring the gaze inward. And then sun salutation. Breathing in, reaching up. So thumb gaze slightly. Exhale, follow your thumbs down and release your gaze towards your navel as you bring your head down. So just think about that belly center. Horizon gaze, halfway lift. Just lightly come forward and up, not too much in the neck. Exhale, spread your hands, take your lips back. Nose gaze, plank pose. 
soft. Feeling that strength of the whole body, hold the earth away. Relax and breathe one more time. Bring your knees down where they are. Untuck your toes and carefully bring your belly forward. Roll your shoulders back. Upward dog. Adjust where your knees are. Just stretch the belly. And here we take a downward gaze. And then table. And gaze towards your navel because your head hangs down. And you might not be able to actually see your navel, and that's totally fine. Um, just looking back and up. Arms and spine long, hands pressing. Upward lift in the belly where our focus is. So we're combining bandhas with drishti. One more exhale, weight back towards the legs. Slowly inhale, coming forward, half lift, horizon. Exhale, fold in, navel. Inhale, stand, let your eyes meet your thumbs as they reach up. Release your feet and shoulders, and then when you breathe out, come down, press the palms. Keep your gaze steady and forward as you reach up, and then shift it up to your thumbs, inhaling. Exhale, forward fold, the eyes just follow the pose, and then tuck your chin, looking upward. Half lift, repeat the movement, horizon gaze. Find to come higher on the legs. Spread hands. Other leg back first this time. And let's do the cat spine. So come down to your hands and knees and round. You can do this as deeply as you like. One more time, a deep breath, maybe into the lower back as you stretch it. And relax to a neutral. Tuck under your toes and come up to plank pose and add that round spine again. So we use different muscles in this pose. So another strengthening pose, maybe done with the knees down. Just five breaths. One more time, round the spine. And then bring your knees down. Release your spine in neutral. And then back bend into the upper dog. So we just stretch the front body, upper dog. And then bring your hips back, tuck under your toes. Hips up. Maybe step your feet in a bit and settle your heels towards the earth. Five breaths, downward dog. Nabi Jushi, nose gaze, navel gaze. Treating the light sound with your breathing. Also feel the blood flow into your head and you've got your head upside down. The coursing of blood. One more time, breathing out, lift your hips up and back. Breathe in, shift forward, step forward. Keep stretching that inhalation to half lift. And slowly exhale, stretch your exhalation. Press the feet, bend the knees a little bit and stand up with your extended spine. Gaze up, reach up. And Back down to center. Stay with that meditative quality. Feel the energy. Awaken the body. Bend your knees and step towards the back of your mat for triangle pose. Turn your foot out 90 degrees back. And then angle in your back foot. Reach your arms as you breathe in. So your gaze is forward and as you go over and down just establish that first 
And then with a nice long neck, tip your eyes towards your hand that's reaching. Your head is also reaching away from your hips. Remember, not too deeply with the gazing, just enough. It can be the intention of upward is enough. Next time you breathe in, come up and turn your feet the same way. Breathe out to the second side. Take an extra breath if you need. With practice, you learn to come into the shape with your body so you can breathe and be aware. The careful turning of the face and the eyes upward, always to a compassionate degree. Lengthen your spine as well as your reach. One more deep breath. And inhale, come up, turn feet the same way. Exhale, release your arms. Take a breath to Refine your stance into wide parallel feet. And breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, forward fold. And just let the eyes follow, the nose coming down, coming down the legs, taking the ankles, shins, or big toes. Lift as if you were coming up, halfway lift. Biscuits, lungs, but lengthen the spine and then breathe out, hold forward. Let your knees soften and bend as needed. Lengthening the spine, keeping just enough bend in the knees so that you're not irritating the backs of your legs. Just let them lengthen. One more deep wave of breath. And just looking where your nose is facing. Soft eyes. Inhale, coming up the legs. Exhale, relax. And turn back to the top of your mat. Just learning to come into that equal standing pose. As you softly bring your gaze towards your nose, you just bring your attention there where the breath is flowing. Hearts full to us now with the right leg stepping straight back. Hips forward. Reach your arms breathing in, thumbs down. Exhale, thumbs roll back. And bring your knuckles or palms together. Persisting with practicing this one, over time getting easier. Breathe in, nose gaze, so a downward gaze as you lift your neck in this back bend, and then forward fold. Just let your gaze come to your big toe or your leg. So we learn to just not attach to what we're looking at as much. Exhale once more. Inhale, come up, keep your arms and change to the back of your mat. Turn around. And when you're ready to breathe in, do that little back bend with a downward gaze. So that helps keep the neck long, gaze towards your cheeks. Exhale, lead with your heart forward fold. Keeping the elbows lifted lightly. Transfer gaze to big toe or leg. Letting yourself feel well grounded. Your mind anchored by the breath and the awareness coming up as you breathe in. Release your hands down and away. And give your wrist a couple circles both directions as you come out. Swim them around. Fingers to open hands. Close hands. Rest hands.
Virabhadrasana, warrior, big step back, so you have room to bend your front knee. So hips forward in the first one, grounded and down. And let's see, establish your foundation. Take your um, left arm up and bring your, bend your elbow. Try to bring your elbow behind your head, but don't press on your neck. So work with yourself to just try to assist that arm wherever you are with that. And warrior variation will take the gaze off the nose down towards the ground. Exhale, bring your palms together, elbows bent or straight, and now tip your gaze upward lightly. You can have an idea of an infinity gaze here. Once more, give it energy. Release your hands down and open to where your feet. A little more space between the feet. Turn your back toes out and hips to the side. Shoulders down as you reach your arms. Turn. So we have a side gaze here towards that reaching left hand. Remember to keep your knee centered. Putting all of your energy into this shape one more time. And as you finish the breath, come into extended side ankle pose. Lean and reach. Draw your shoulder down off your ear. Gazing lightly towards that palm. And coming down if you would like. So just please don't, don't strain your neck doing the gazing. Just let your head turn just enough so it feels positive. Really immersing yourself in the practice. Breathe out. Inhale energy helps you come up. Straighten out that front leg and take the left arm straight up towards the sky. Give a little upward gaze. One more breath, energize, press, reach, relax, and make your way back to the top of the mat, your second side. Big breath. Or your A first, so hips forward. It helps you to find that bony landmark with your hands, and then find that step back, bending the knee. You can gently square forward, don't have to square all the way, just squaring, grounding. Shoulders down, try to keep them down as you do this, work with the right arm coming up, with the elbow bending, try to come behind your head. Optional assist with the other arm. Take your awareness down to your knee. Your gaze stays in the same place though, inside the brain. Brain goes to knee, make sure it feels centered. And then release awareness to overall. One more time, breathe out. Release the arms up, gaze up, and take one more breath. Exhale, release hands down. Turn back foot open to the side. Float out your arms. So take a moment to transition. Turn your gaze, side gazing. Always free to make refinements. Find that sweet place for today. Activate your body here. One more time. Leaning and reaching. So the reaching hand is to turn the pinky side down and scoop towards your reaching eyes. Come to the floor if you would like. Anchored in the belly center. One more time. Inhale, coming up and turning feet wide parallel. 
and taking your arms out to the sides, reach out your fingers and bring your arms back and together weave your fingers. Inhale, let your hands come down, stretch your chest. So downward gaze off the nose. And relax your shoulders a bit as you come forward. And let the legs go first, the spine. And then introduce the arms, taking them away from the body, gently, thoughtfully. Just enough softness in your knees. Just trying to keep that open heart feeling. Use your breath, stretch into the front of your chest and shoulders one more time. As you breathe out, just soften your arms and shoulders. Inhale, arms to your back, press your feet and come up. Release. And top of your mat. So a dirty focus practice would definitely include some poses where we stand on one leg. So come to your spot if you have a wall, you want to use something just to support you in case you need it, or if you need it, it's all right. Um, so let's start by shifting weight into the right leg. Tree pose, you can come on in if you know the pose. So just build it in your own way, turning out from the hip, bringing the feet, the legs together so the foot can stay down around the knee or anywhere in the upper leg. So there's this notch at the top of your thigh if you want to Put your, put your heel in there. Make sure all is well with your knee. Centering hands. And back to that piece we did with the crossover side bend where you have your eyes four to six feet out down on the floor. Choose a spot and don't change it. Soften your forehead so it's not hard gazing. It gives the eyes a place to be while we do this internal work. Stay concentrating and just transfer your hands to your waist or hand if you have one on the wall, that's fine. Release from tree to the leg floating pose. It's okay if you need to reset before you come in. Reach your leg. And let your eyes Go to your reaching toes. Perhaps the steady point on the floor was easier, so go back to that. And just one more breath. Release your leg down and cross it in front of the other one and sink down to eagle pose. So I landed off my mat so you can take a moment to transition to cross leg squat. Scoop left elbow under your right. Soft eyes, see the hands right in front of your face. You can also see the floor in front of you. Just let this, the eyes be generally studied. See concentration. Breathe one more time, getting low in the pose. Let your inhalation guide you up and out of it and take a moment to stretch out into star spine, star, star pose. Gentle reaching in the hands. Back to your nose with your gaze. Sometimes the internal gaze wants to come at the third eye. And then release your arms down. Just let your eyes close a moment. Just let them relax. So we're asking a lot and we don't want to strain. Forehead's nice and smooth. Other side, tree, leg float, eagle. Turn around if you're using the wall. Find your tree pose, other side. Just work with the side of your body. Work the legs give and take with each other, centering hands. Let your eyes find a spot on this side. You were probably slightly different than you were on the other, so find a new place with your eyes. And feel the warmth of your hands together.
marveling at what your body can do, what your brain is doing. Just a sense of wonder. And releasing and transitioning to the floating leg. Um, didn't have us change the hands, but change your hands to your waist. With your thumbs, you can feel your low back, feel the strength there as you reach out your leg. Point your toes. Use the eyes to steady you. Once more, reach, lift, and release down. Just coming off that standing leg for a moment feels nice. And then Garudasana, the eagle pose, other side, crossing, bending knees. Bring your spine more upright, right elbow underneath the left. Hands come together in front of your face. I love this, there's one description of this pose as if looking down from a great height. Like that's like an eagle. So um, just have that sense of looking through the hands down to the earth in front of you. Keeping it all softened, the brain softly aware. Steady breathing. So these things all come together to create the practice. And going low as you exhale. Inhale, carefully release out into star with the arms slowed up ground. If your eyes wander, just gently bring them back to steady. And exhale, hands to heart. And let's transition. Uh, leave your fingers, inhale, press your palms up. Exhale, unweave your fingers, forward fold. Draw yourself in. Tuck your chin, long neck. Half lift, hands to the front of the legs. Exhale, bend knees and go back. And let's lower to the belly, maybe bringing your knees down, hug your elbows in. Reaching forward and just let your belly come down. Stretch your legs out together and down. Hands by your chest, draw your elbows in. Open your shoulders, press your hands and lift your chest. Nose gaze. So a nose gaze is slightly downward. Feel the activation on your back body as you lift your spine. One more breath. Exhale, release. Forward and down, press in the hands. Hug elbows in, peel up your belly, tuck under your toes and pull back. Quarter dog, elbows up. Gaze will fall back or towards the navel, just like downward dog here. Breathe out again. And breathe in, rising up. Bring your forearms down. Walk them forward so that you can come to your heel stretch, bringing your right heel back. Straightening out that right leg, press your heel back. Exhale, bring that knee down and stretch your other heel back. Feel a nice open and strong feeling in the shoulders and chest. Deep breathe again. And then walk into dolphin pose where we straighten up the legs like downward dog and attempt to walk in. Relax your head down.
Deeply breathe again. Bring your knees down and slide on out to your belly so you can come to your right side. Over to the right, support your head. Find your balance on your side body. Eyes. Focus on the nose or third eye. Keep you steady. And then turning your toes towards the sky on your top leg, reach it up on and toss it up. A little bit of Mula Bandha engaging the pelvic floor, the low belly engaging as well. And breathe out, relax your leg down. Then take it in front of you, cat pulling tail pose. So the front leg is wherever it's comfortable, bent or straight. We're reaching for the bottom foot, bring your palm down and find that inside or top of your foot. And then just let yourself relax open and come to a state of non-doing. Just be in the shape. Here's an opportunity for just a soft gaze wherever your head is faced. Um, the ceiling's generally pretty boring, so it's a good practice just to have um, that right field whatever it is. Relax and breathe. A few more circles of breath. You can also let your eyes have a little rest with closing. Last time. Nice full breath, stretch it out. And release your body. It's a process of letting go of all those actions. Come back to Cobra for a moment. Just gather the legs, engage your glutes a little bit, press the earth. So more lengthening than lifting. Downward gaze. And relax, exhale. Other side, cradle head, roll over to your side. Take a, a few breaths to just find balance and adjust your, your head cradle. Next time you breathe out, draw your low belly towards your spine. So that will naturally engage the pelvic floor muscles. And then inhale, turn your toes to the sky, reach up, anantasana. Just activating and lifting that top leg, bring it towards you. Hand on the floor in front, if you like, for support. The steady gazing helps keep you calm, present with your effort. And just give it one more breath. Lift and lower slowly. Turn the toes towards the front and relax the leg. And bring it forward, bend your straight. On your top arm, reaching for your bottom foot. And at least to just take the root of the big toe, perhaps that part of the foot with the hand facing down. And then letting your head and your spine roll open. Notice if there's anything that's holding on to tension that you don't need. Relax into just being here. That cat energy right in the present moment. Breath slowing down. Heart rate slowing down. Mind slowing down. Remembering to back off if you get any tingling. 
And just a little bit more time here. Perhaps take a super slow breath. Whenever you breathe out again, let your hand and foot say goodbye. Come back to your belly center. One breath into Cobra. Lift your legs, head down. Keep breathing. Energize all along the legs and hips. One more breath. Lift the legs and then relax. Let's do a half frog. Bring your right leg up the floor. You keep curling your torso in that direction as well. Turn your head to the right and relax. You can experiment with the kind of half closed eyes. We're closing the eyes to Antara Jushi, this inner gazing, meditative state. Perhaps the third eye, the space between the eyebrows is where some energy is noticed. You let yourself feel grounded on the earth. Oh, this is a good place to talk about the prana. So by drawing our awareness and our gaze into a steady place, we, we don't let the prana fly out of us with our eyes looking everywhere. We are able to retain more of that vital energy of the body with a steady eye practice. And just one more breath out. Relax as much as you can. A nice slow letting go, sliding your knee down, straightening your leg, shift to the other side. Really great a cushion under your knee. Bring your torso over there some as well and turn your head to get a nice release in the neck. Try to rest your head so your hands are comfortable and your head is comfortable. Scan the body for any holding and release. Maybe the Antara Jishti with the eyes resting. And with the awareness spreading, it's like you can see your own, your whole body with your eyes closed, focusing on that third eye center, aware of all of it. And just letting all of it be. Soft as you can, sensing breath. And letting go of the pose, slowly bring your leg back to straight and bring your spine and arms back to center so you can press forward, peel up your belly, press the hands, pull back child's pose wide or close with the knees. So the toes are not tucked and the arms will come down and rest. Uh, navel gaze here. So just thinking in and up, down, in, up. Twice more deep breaths. And again. Inhale, come up and transition to your seat. If you wanted to flow through upward dog and downward dog, you could add that in. One of the choices, a little of that, and 
Sit down, Ardha Matyandrasana. Right knee right in front, fold it in. Left foot on the floor, coming around, sitting tall. Nice inhale with that tall spine. Exhale over to the left. Customize each pose for you, looking back. And using your arm and leg together to create nice sensation in your outer hip. And a tall spine, we return to that look back twist with a back gaze. And then one arriving in the pose and then allowing things to be noticed, little refinements to be made. And just holding steady when things are feeling right. One more time. Sit up tall, look back, and release to the other side. Work with the side of your body. Sit up tall, use your arms to create strength in the arms as we support our, our weight with the arms here. Tall spine coming around. Check in with your outer leg and your hip. Turn and look back. There's a little pressing into that heel of the hand behind you to create the length in your spine. Soft eyes. Once more. And release to center and to an easy pose. Or one that's a little bit more warmed up for your body. Bring gentle length to your spine. Let your arms come down like waterfalls from your shoulders. Lengthen in again, breathe in. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And let your eyes rest as you circle the breath in the container of your torso. Go slowly. I'm taking a several rounds of breath as slowly as you can without causing strain. One more time. Relax. Inhale, come up and lean back a bit. Take out your legs for one round of boat pose, your own choice. So support it in some way or extend it out. Big toes, gaze. One more breath, give it energy. And exhale, release it. Taking the legs out in front and folding forward. Draw your belly back. So if looking to your toes is comfortable, you can gaze towards the big toes in a non-judgmental way. Or just let your gaze come down towards your legs. Make space for your belly. Fold. Draw your toes back. Embrace the calming quality of forward folds. Where the eyes go, the mind goes. 
Breathe out again. And remembering the shape as you come to your back. Lift up your legs, park them here if you would like, or carry on with bringing them into an upside down version of the pose we just did. Keep your head centered and flat on the floor or mat. Gently draw your legs towards you. Grounding your back body. Calming, two more rounds of breath. And release your spine down. Bring your knees in from either position. And bring your feet out to the floor and knees out wide. So your low back might arch here so you can pick up your hips. Bring your hips lower. And that helps your low back ground. So just coming to Supta Baddha Konasana. Soft gaze towards the nose. Beginning to relax your body. Keep the steadiness of the eyes. And as we breathe out, next let's just slowly let your legs lengthen away and come apart from each other, soft all the way from the hips to the toes. Bring your hands behind your skull, gently lift up your head and lengthen your spine. Draw the skull away from the rest of the spine and place your head back down. And then rub your hands together, creating some warmth and energy. And then let those hands rest cupped over your eye sockets. And just softly close the eye space. Let that area relax. And when you feel complete with that, let the arms release and rest. Letting the eyes stay closed. And letting the effects of the practice be received. You're softly supported by your breath still as it becomes natural. Perhaps a sense of pure awareness. Ten times a day, something happens to me like this. Some strengthening throb of amazement. Some good, sweet, empathic ping and swell. This is the first, the wisest thing I know, that the soul exists and is built entirely out of attentiveness. As you breathe next time, just observe the stillness. That quality of the mind, meditative, present. 
And then just ease into a twist on your back. Just an easy bringing the knees over one way and letting the head turn the other way. Your own just relaxed way of having a back, back twist. Continue to stay dropped in to your resting pose. Just gently stirring our energy very slowly. And let's ask the inhales to be a little bit invigorated for the next two. Exhales that follow, nice and rounding. Just let your body move to the other side. Just light and easy. Eyes resting. Really observant of the sensations in, you're creating in your body. You have connected your brain to your breathing. Resting in awareness, non-separateness. Invigorate the next two inhales. When your throat says swallow, let it release and then let yourself come back to the back body. Let's draw in the knees towards the chest and come over to your most comfortable side and slowly sit on up. Taking a little time to come through this process of coming back to your seated pose. Taking a moment for that transition so you arrive. Take your arms behind your back so you do an internal shoulder, thumbs down and back, to hold your opposite elbow, perhaps. Tie up as you can hug behind you. And then a little bit of a lift, breathe in, gaze down. Exhale, yoga mudrasana, just bowing forward, keeping your heart lifted, leading with the heart. Soft gaze, eyes closed. See if there's a little more space for your chest to open and your self to fold in. And then rising up with gratitude for the practice. Carefully release your arms. Find your heart, lift your elbows. Thumbs rest into the heart center. And a quiet moment for your own. Contemplations. And just letting that energy go where you want it to go. And sealing our practice, breathe deeply. Um, Let your mind feel restored as you open your eyes again. Just have that joyful softness around the eyes and the brain from the practice. And I hope that's been beneficial. Um, we'll talk about that later. One of our tools. Namaste. Hi, Aria.